This is a demonstration of the Pacha Pose Saver Loader. Purpose of this is to read and write pose files. So the pose file is just six degrees of freedom here TXT, YTZ, RX, RY, and RZ. So what happens, the positions are, of these pose files are always written in world space, but because the math under the hood is a little bit different for these different types in equalizer, we've got three different categories. We also have import and export, and for import we've got a frame range feature. So let's start off with a 3D camera to a 3D camera. So looking at this shot, got a nice solve here. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our first frame and just for fun we'll store the pose here uh, but instead of this tool writes to disk basically uh, not to the internal buffers of equalizer. So what we're going to do is we're going to store a camera. Now when you do this it's uh, best to put the frame numbers in a padded way so if it's frame one here you want to have frame one here that will really help you organize. So now we uh, export this. And then if we were to screw this up, if we just switch this to import and bring the pose back in, then it'll fix it. Now the purpose of this undo import is sometimes you want to take the pose file that's on disk and copy it right to store pose, but equalizer doesn't have a Python command for that, so we do it in a two-step process. So we bring in any old pose here, and then uh, from disk to the F5 viewport, then we hit store pose, and then we hit undo import. It'll take the curve editor and revert it back to where it was. Actually, we'll just apply that. So this can be very useful for bringing in single poses and still have your move. So next thing is similar process. We'll do an object point group to object point group. So we switch here. So we, we've got this geometry here that's being moved by the optic group. Switch this to object. So we'll take this pose, again just for fun we'll store it, and we'll export this. And let's export it as optic blaster there. So now if we screw this up, all I have to do is import it and then we can bring it back in and then it is where it is. Now of course since this is an optic group it's in, uh, there's animation on top of uh, this geometry. Now we can also mix and match from one type of group to another so in this example we'll take an object group and we'll uh, take its position and write it to the camera. So let's take this particular object and once again we already have this written out but we'll do it one more time browse okay apply and then we're going to take it and here we can see that there's a blaster here but it's at the wrong spot we want this to go to frame one so what we'll do is we'll do an import to the camera group I'm sorry to the 3d model and let's see how this works. Yep, went right to the correct spot. So now, see we can mix and match between all these three groups. Now we have a similar tools in Maya. So right here we have a um, pose saver. And so what this does, uh, you select uh, cameras or nulls inside of Maya, and it'll import and export them, just like it does in Equalizer. I think it'll also work with Locators, so I have to read it, but you can't actually do the object itself. It has to be a null or a camera, because nothing else actually really makes sense, so the script will give you an error message. Now we have a frame range feature here for whole frames, and the idea is... So let's say you want to do step poses. So what we do is we bring into this group here and we would take object group and we'd import let's say a frame range. So let's say we want this to go to 1 to 30. And again well, a lot of times we'll have poses. So we'll hit apply and now 
see right here that the model has been frozen for just the first 30 frames. And again, a lot of times for tracking, they will ask for a freeze, uh, you know, a stepped animation. And the reason you need this special function here is because an equalizer, these object groups are always a child to the camera. And so if you just have a straight line graph in the curve editor, it'll actually be drifting around. So this uh, has a proper uh, childing math built in. There's a couple of new features in the 2.3 version pose saver loader. Uh, first of all, this one right here doesn't say apply anymore. It's import export pose. If you've got a pose file on disk, you can click here and it will display a screen dump of uh, what was in that file. You don't have to go to the file browser anymore. And then finally, we have a copy pose from and to. So let's say we've got animation at frame one and we want to copy it to the end we just put in whichever number we want and we transfer pose and so now frame one is the same as it was before and this one copied over and you don't have to have any um, poses here written to disk or you don't have to store pose it just copies uh, the animation over for that particular frame in the curve editor